how to unlock an OptiFlow panel. To secure the data we have for the OptiFlow programming, the OptiFlow panel locks in the field or prevents any programming from happening at the controller interface instead requiring the user to identify themselves in the cloud so any changes they make get added to the record. Specifically, that means that when you walk up to the XR controller in the field, the panel or programming is locked and you won't be able to change any of the programming at the panel. This is part of the OptiFlow software and happens when we upgrade from version 7 firmware or the upgrade mode to version 8 firmware or the OptiFlow mode. So this is an OptiFlow exclusive that you'll see on XR and OptiFlow upgraded Pro 3 controllers, but the panel lock does not happen on the LC or unoptimized Pro 3 controllers. We're gonna talk about how to unlock that panel so you can use the maintenance features that are built into the WeatherTrack software. When you walk up to a panel in the field, you can easily differentiate an OptiFlow panel running version 8 firmware by pushing the run button and seeing the OptiFlow message in the upper left hand corner of the run screen. With a locked OptiFlow panel, you'll use the buttons the same way you always have to scroll through and look at any of the settings. But as soon as you try to make a change, you'll see this message that says panel locked. And this is important because if you're in the field and you don't have access to WeatherTrack Central, and you just need a little bit of information like a start time or a station setting, you can still use the panel to find that information. So you're able to view any settings but not make any settings changes or programming changes in the field. And even when you unlock a controller, there are certain features that will not unlock. So it's important to be very specific about what we can and cannot unlock. Again, we're focused on the maintenance features, so it's important that you can run manual irrigation and test your system and run wet checks in the field. You can also change your controller mode, turn your controller on or off, or to winterized or shut down. When a controller is unlocked, you can also manage the alerts, which means that you can go and view any alerts that you have, investigate which stations or what details the controller knows about your alerts, and clear those alerts. However, be aware that there are new site-level OptiFlow alerts that cannot be cleared from the panel. But unlocking a controller also enables all of the field testing hardware, like looking at the real-time measured flow when you're running stations to test the system is a very useful troubleshooting tool. You can also run the valve test and test all of the electrical components of your irrigation system. You can run the manual diagnostics and see the specific milliamps from station to station. You would use the field hardware to do all of your two-wire stuff like program decoders and test your two-wire path. You also unlock all of the communications menu that's very useful when you're out in the field troubleshooting the communications issues. You can see your numbers for phase integrity and interference, and you can reset the modem, which is helpful when your controller is offline. And we have the ability to restart the controller if we need to make an emergency reset. So there are many troubleshooting tools available for you when you unlock that panel. Also, a user needs to be prepared that even though the panel is unlocked, there are certain features now on that panel that won't unlock. Specifically, we won't be able to make any programming changes. So we won't be able to change any station programming or change start times or water windows because that information now belongs to the site and needs to be managed in the OptiFlow programming in the cloud by using WeatherTrack Mobile or WeatherTrack.net. Also, the rain pause now belongs to the site. Today, I'm going to show you the workflow on how a user would usually unlock a panel by using WeatherTrack Mobile and walk you through the process of unlocking the controller from WeatherTrack Central or unlocking a controller that's offline. We'll begin with a demonstration of unlocking your OptiFlow panel using WeatherTrack Mobile. We think of this as the most common workflow because if you're at the panel, you're in the field and WeatherTrack Mobile is designed for this application. So we think that this will be the most common workflow to unlock the controller, which starts with our app. So select WeatherTrack Mobile 3.0 and that will bring you to the sites page, at which point you choose the site that you want to manage. And I want to go to my OptiFlow site, which is my Red Rock HOA and by hitting the small button on the right, I advance to the controllers and I see all three controllers for my OptiFlow site. And I see the closest controller to me is filtered to the top of the list. And so I choose that. That's the controller that I want to unlock. So I use the button on the left to select that controller. And I 
see all the controller level commands. And along the command bar, we see all of the different tools that we have on the controllers page, including that access button, which is what we're looking for right now. So we select access, which on Pro 3 would only have our master valve override. But when you have an OptiFlow controller, it also contains the lock and unlock feature. So select access and then select the feature called lock and unlock and it will unlock the controller that you're on for 30 minutes up to four hours. So if I say I want to unlock it for 30 minutes, I select 30 minutes and then you'll begin the countdown timer that you can see here. And when this clock reaches zero, the panel will lock back up. Notice that any other controllers that are affected by this are listed on this page. Once you send the unlock signal, you'll see the panel that you're working with in the field become unlocked and start to give you the maintenance timeout message. And as soon as you sign in through the cloud, when you look at the controller out in the field, you'll see the message in the bottom right corner of your controller display go from just showing online to alternating with a message that shows you that the maintenance timeout has been enacted or it will start to flash M-A-I-N-T in the bottom right corner. That tells you that the panel is unlocked and ready to be managed. And now that I've unlocked the panel, I have access to all of the maintenance features. Like you can see here that I can run stations manually and test the hardware. But if I go to try and change station programming, the panel still says locked. If you're helping someone in the field while you're in your office, or maybe you're managing WeatherTrack.net from your tablet in the field, you might be unlocking the OptiFlow panel from WeatherTrack Central. So we'll start by going to WeatherTrack Central at WeatherTrack.net and logging in with our unique username and password. And that will bring us to the home page of WeatherTrack.net where we're going to select the OptiFlow tab and select the Unlock Controller option. First you select which OptiFlow site you want to manage. And when the proper Unlock Controller page loads up, if you look at the workspace, you'll see in the first column we have all of our site controllers. In the second column, we have our site controller status. And then in the third column, we have the map. And the trick to unlocking a WeatherTrack controller at WeatherTrack.net is to just select the controller that you want to unlock and drag that over into the maintenance mode in the site controller status column. And as soon as you see it under the Action Required button, we hit the Manage and at that point you can unlock this controller. And when you hit the unlock button, it sends the signal to unlock the controller and your field managers can do what they wanna do. When the controller unlocks, it will appear in the unlocked column. And if you want more information, you can click that manage button and see how much time is left while your controller's in maintenance mode. You can add more time if you want it. And if you're done with having the controller in maintenance mode, you can simply press this button to relock the controllers. Whether you're using your smart device and unlocking the panel from WeatherTrack Mobile or using the internet-based central and unlocking the OptiFlow panel from WeatherTrack.net, unlocking from the cloud is the new normal with OptiFlow. Outside of the ordinary, there might be times when you need to unlock the controller when you're doing troubleshooting, or more specifically, unlock an offline controller. To unlock a controller that's offline, you have to manually enter the unlock code. So to unlock a controller that is offline, you need to know how to find the unlock code and enter the unlock code. And the process with WeatherTrack starts right where you're used to going to unlock the controllers. So you can find that unlock code at either WeatherTrack.net or WeatherTrack Mobile. So here we are at the controllers page of WeatherTrack Mobile, and we see that the controller that we want to access is offline. So just like before, we'll start by selecting the controller that we want to unlock, select the access feature, and right where the unlock button was before, you'll see this message that tells you that the controller is offline and you need to enter the code. So you'll hit this get code button and WeatherTrack Mobile will provide you the unlock code that you have to manually enter to unlock that OptiFlow panel. Or you go to weathertrack.net, go to the OptiFlow tab and then the unlock controller page. And you'll see in the site controllers column, the controller that we want to unlock is offline, but we still drag and drop that into the action required and then hit the manage. And then you press this unlock button at the end of the row and you'll get a message that says get unlock code hit OK then you'll see the code retrieved message and the actual unlock code that you enter to unlock the OptiFlow panel and once you have found that code we need to take that code to the controller and manually enter the unlock code into the panel to give us access to the maintenance features 
to do this at the panel, I always start by hitting the run button and going to the run screen and then going forward one arrow and it will take you to a screen that says AF maintenance mode. And this is where you enter that four digit code. So be mindful of the cursor. And since the cursor is under the first column, use the plus and minus buttons to select the right digit in that first column. So we go through, scroll through the first column and select the first digit of our unlock code. And when that's correct, we use the forward arrow to move the cursor from underneath the first column to underneath the second column. Then again, we use the plus and minus buttons to select the right number. And so we go through and select the proper code and when you enter the correct unlock code you'll see the panel immediately unlock at that point you'll likely go right to the communications menu to diagnose why that controller was offline and how to get it communicating again and one last thing if your controller has never connected to the hydropoint servers it will have a default unlock code of one two three four but it's important to understand that as soon as this controller connects to the hydropoint servers that unlock code will update and you'll have to find it at weathertrack mobile or weathertrack.net 